trade us across the globe and welcome to the 1280th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni and that would be me. Good evening traders, Oscar Carboni coming to you on a Sunday night. This video is being filmed on a Sunday night for trading Monday, February 9th, 2015. Through Monday, maybe into Tuesday, maybe only half a Monday, maybe for all of Monday, maybe Monday into Tuesday. You know how these markets are, right? The damn video is good about as long as I'm standing in front of you. These things have been going crazy. But anyway, the market or the video should be good for trading all day tomorrow. We'll see what happens tonight to tomorrow. Traders, as we know, before we get started, futures trading is extremely risky. There is no more can be extremely risky. Those days are over. Futures trading is extremely risky, can absolutely unequivocally cause devastation to you financially if you don't know what you're doing, if you do not use stops, if you don't place your stops first, whether the NFA says they work right every time or not place them anyway because we trade, they don't. Put your stops in because they usually work. And remember, this is really, really risky. Don't play this game without doing your analysis. Find an expert, me, anybody, find an expert. Put your stops in. Don't play this game and just take it to chance. These moves are huge. All right, so that's out of the way. What's on the board? Ah, traders. The Omni has a double-sided Omni for Sunday through Monday. We expect a pullback. Then somewhere to get long and for it to turn around and head towards the upside by the time the day is over. However, we're starting off with just this one. It's got to get low enough for us to want to flip and get long. We're starting off selling first, then looking at the buying. We'll see where it goes. Come to LiveWithOscar.com for the timing of this as the markets move so rapidly these days. Because on Sunday night, we could be selling and by Monday morning, we could be buying. We've got the double-sided Omni. Be there. So... Here's an Oscarism about the double-sided Omni in the E-mini S&P and the NASDAQ, and the Oscarism is a brief pullback before taking out a triple top is my brand of analysis. You can read in any book, any journal, anything else out there on the internet. What you'll read about is triple tops get sold, right? The, the majority of the analysts out there think when you see top one, top two, top three, that's the top and the market cracks. It doesn't work that way anymore. Generally, you get top one, top two, top three, a brief pullback, brief, and then you blast through it. In a market that is strong, that reaches a triple top, it's not the top of a market usually. If it's a strong bull, it gets a brief pullback, an Oscarism, and then it takes off, okay? That's what we're expecting first. If this is going to turn around and become a big rocket ship to the downside, we'll deal with it one day at a time. But from what I can see, double-sided Omni will end up on the long side at some point because of the brief pullback. It may last Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It may last just Monday. We're expecting some pullback before you can get long. Then there's this. The gold still smelting. This is seven videos in a row. Me getting you short or hoping to get you short the gold. Omniacs have been doing really, really well on these gold trades. Not every gold trade we produce will be a winner, but lately, go Omni. The gold is still smelting, right? I have shown you video after video after video. And in those videos I showed you, it has to come down and it's a repetitive pattern. And I spent lots of time in every one of the videos, six before this, the seventh video will show you the very same chart. It shows you that gold is coming down, right? And this is about blinders. My next topic, I want you to understand this. I'm here to coach some of you, the ones who see the good that I can provide, my 33 years in this business, my expertise from the floor, the traders out there that actually take from these videos, I have something I'd like to discuss with you, and this is what it is. It's called blinders, trading blinders. They're extremely dangerous. Blinders are completely ego-driven because they come from what you want to believe, and they don't let your eyes see what they're actually seeing in front of them. And they're extremely dangerous, and here's why I brought it up. Gold still smelting. I've been saying this in many videos. I've been pointing out why gold should go low. Gold has been going lower. And I've got a guy who writes on my YouTube and says, Oscar, you are you you said gold was gonna go up. You pointed out to the your last video and said, look, there's a little bull flag, and in that video I actually said you could misconstrue this, or you might think this is a bull flag, but actually the bigger context is it's a down move coming because the repetitive pattern will take us lower. But here's my point. 
This guy sat through six previous videos watching me call the downside and found one thing in one of my videos, my last video before this one, where I said, you would think it's a bull flag, but it's not because of the downward repetitive pattern. And he writes to me and says, Oscar, you said it was a bull flag. You didn't call the downside. Now that, my friends, is a disease. That's a sickness. Do you understand that? You nut... You are a nut. That's a disease for you to watch something six, seven videos in a row pointing the downside. And you found the only reason you could think of to kind of pretend that I call the upside. That's a sickness. Those are called blinders. They're very ego driven. You must have a long position on in gold because how on earth could you have misconstrued any of the last six or seven videos about gold? that I'm calling for anything more than the downside. Traders, if you wear those blinders, you will get destroyed in this business. There's a disease called confirmation bias. Look it up. It's a clinical term. It's a clinical disease that us traders get when we are short a market and it's pointing straight up and the chart's pointing straight up and it's against us. We find reasons in that chart to think it's going down. And we call a friend and go, look, that's not really blowing through a double top. It's going to be a triple top and go down. And you'll find any reason to not call the bull flag a bull flag or not call an inverted head and shoulders an up move because you might be short that market. My friend in gold who wrote to me on YouTube, are you really that bent into your own ego that you would misconstrue all these downward calls for me calling the upside? You need to watch out in this business. I think this guy who wrote to me on YouTube is too far gone. For you newer traders, don't listen to what you think is going to happen. You've got to watch what's happening right before your eyes. You've got to look at the charts. You cannot just think something's going to happen and project that onto your charts. Especially you can't project it onto your trading. Now the Omniacs has do have done really, really well selling gold day after day. This lunatic is still, you know, he finds reasons to think it's going up and that I'm calling the upside. Now, this isn't about a basher by any means. The guy's just a loose cannon. Who cares? This is about the serious traders. Please don't get that. Don't put your blinders on. If you're watching these videos and you construe me calling the upside of gold, you got to go find the shrink. You've got a problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So trade what you see before you. When you watch my videos, listen to what I'm saying. Don't make stuff up. You can't wear blinders. They are dangerous and ego-driven. Traders, now I'm going to show you some fantastic charts. Before I get into the charts, let me remind you of something. I'm holding an Omnicamp this summer. My Omnicamp is the only one planned for the summer. I will only take five applicants. I will bring you out to Vegas and train you to call the Omni Oscars Market Navigational Indicator in the very same manner I call them for you in these videos. If you would like to be one of those five class participants, it will be held June 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. The only Omnicamp planned for the summer. That's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. If you'd like to join me in Omnicamp, come on down to livewithoscar.com. Click the Omnicamp banner. Fill out your application and I will personally contact you and qualify you for a seat. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, the first chart I'm going to show you this evening is the NASDAQ Daily Bar. And this is not a triple top, but what this is is resistance. You hit it, you created the resistance line, you hit it again, you confirmed the resistance line, you hit it a third time and dropped down to here by the end of the day on Friday in your NASDAQ. I contend that this whole thing right here is nothing more than a holding pattern that we will stay in until the market finally breaks out to the upside. Whatever wants to happen in this holding pattern, you've got resistance here, you've got some support across here, you may gyrate in between. We start off with the downside in the NASDAQ for Sunday night into Monday, and we see where it goes. Then you've got the E-mini S&P, an Oscarism. Triple tops usually get taken out after a brief dip. Top one, top two, Top three happens here. Friday we do this and we dip down and close somewhere near the lows. I expect some sort of a pullback Sunday into Monday, maybe Tuesday, and then a hook back up, and away we go. Now, we are playing this and this so far to start off Sunday into Monday. We don't know if the hook comes Monday or Tuesday. So we're starting off with the red omni, but expecting at some point to go green. So remember, starting off red, that's the way we begin. And then we hope. 
this goes away and we end up green. Starting off red on me because of the brief pullback expected. So there are your indices NASDAQ and S&P. Then there's the gold. Okay, for you traders, well, that one trader in particular with his blinders on, while I'm standing here in six or seven videos in a row going, look, this is called a repetitive pattern. We live by these. It hits the line and it goes down and it goes up to here and it just misses the line and then it goes down, goes up to here and drops, it goes up to here and then it drops. So I'm doing this in video after video. And then I said up here, you can almost try to construe this as a bull flag, but it couldn't possibly be because we're in a repetitive pattern. So that's not a bull flag and down we expect to go. Those were my words in that last video. Somebody looked at that and said, Oscar, you said it's going up. You call this a bull flag. That's a real disease, my friends. I mean, oh my goodness. In any event, we've come all the way down to here already since the top. And we do expect to end up all the way down here at some point like it does almost every time. So this chart has been working. It has been creating magic for us Omniac traders in the gold. I don't know if it will continue working as well as it has been, but it sure has been a godsend so far. Live by repetitive patterns. They are absolutely worth living by. And remember, you lunatic nut job out there, do not construe someone pointing arrows in this direction in six videos. The upside, that's just insanity. Traders, pull your own charts. Do your own homework. Try not to web blinders, and I'll meet you at livewithoscar.com. Traders, you've seen the charts. You've got my technical argument for why we've got starting off lunatic and gold, starting off red, and maybe ending up green. We'll see what happens. Just for the lunatics that have their blinders on. All right, traders, so... Brief pullback before the triple top gets taken out. That's what we expect to see. We start with the pullback. We see where it goes. Gold still smelting. Doesn't matter what the nuts say out there. And it doesn't matter that the S&P might come off. The gold still looks heavy. If it turns back up, we'll follow it back up. For now, the gold still looks heavy. And please, I know I'm being a little crazy, but... Don't wear your blindness. I made an example of this nut because that's a crazy way to behave. And in this business, crazy makes you go broke. Don't go crazy. Don't go broke. Put your stops in. Use your charts. And never construe something pointing six arrows like this in a row to the upside. I mean, just don't look at down arrows and think that they're going up and you might be all right. Traders, a couple of things, good and bad. Let's get the bad out of the way first. It's a celebration in a way, but Dean Smith, a coaching legend, North Carolina University from 61 to 97. What a great man. What a great coach. I don't even like f basketball. I almost said football. I don't even like basketball that much, but a great man deserves a round of applause. So rest in peace, Mr. Smith. Great having you on the planet. And then... A dedication to my Australian trainer. Good day, baby. I'm very, very nice to have you. I've got a lot of Australian traders. They've been writing to me. How about a shout-out? All right, you got your shout-out, guys. I've been to Australia, the Gold Coast. Boy, you got pretty women out there. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be out there again one day. Traders, that's about it. I'll see you all at livewithoscar.com. Don't forget... Keep your emotions out of trading. I know that's not going to be easy. If you don't know what to do about that, put your stops in and say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stops are Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.